Hi, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for the full moon coming up on June 23rd, 2013. And this is actually my entire second next recording of this because I just did all of this, and then when I watched it, actually when I went through the whole process of everything and getting it up to YouTube, that was when I finally realized that the focus was totally out and it was blurry and I couldn't stand to watch it so I didn't want to make you all suffer with that. So now I have to try to remember what I said in my natural organic way of sharing information so now I'm like uh... okay but anyway so um, one thing right now is I should um, start with that because one of the biggest things going on right now and also I just woke up from a nap um, it was I woke up and then realized that thing was all messed up and then I jumped into gear and right now I am like kind of asleep <laughs> but I'm doing this so let's go but I'll be awake in a minute um, but so there's a big balancing act thing going on right now and everything that is not in right action is being put into its correct placement so anything that you're doing in your life where you are giving an excess um, and not giving in another area is going to come up to you it can either be that endings will happen things are just stopping you from going forward in this with this thing um, and demanding that you do this other thing so if it's too much work it's that you're needing to make more time for rest you know it's like the sun's up all these hours then the sun's down and it's dark there's a natural balance to things and we do need to um, have more balance in everything in our life and this can even be something that you love to do so it's not like you see it as a problem but you do need balance and I know that one personally from my working schedule and how you know just recently I am like Ugh, I can't I, I don't want to do one more thing I want to play I haven't played for an entire seven months so now it's like I'm almost like ah like breaking out of this thing of like I need to do nothing I just need to do nothing I just need to do nothing I've just been doing too much and I didn't even feel like that at all until this energy hit when it was like whoa 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 you might like this but this isn't healthy this isn't sustainable this isn't something you can keep doing so there's things like that in our life and everything is just kind of writing itself if it's been out of balance the world is writing itself you know like everything that's coming out there's so much coming to our awareness of all these lies and all this manipulation and you know and this is all part of the plan this is how it's going to be for a while um, but it does have to come up for us to face it and to choose to um, do it in a different way or to, to choose to stand up and say wait a minute this isn't right we need to change this uh, so that's just big time out in the world so that writing thing another thing with it goes along with the whole um, coming up with a new perspective in life you know that's what I've already been saying is that this year to me is about us gaining new perspectives on everything because I am living proof that like gaining changing your perspectives on things can absolutely change your life 100 percent and the more you do it you just um, you know you know the more you can see things in their positive the more you can see things from their overall uh, the overall viewing of seeing like why this maybe really did have to happen to affect something later in life or even just trusting that this happened because of something later in life I know it you know just kind of holding that instead of oh my god it's hopeless I want to die my life sucks nothing ever works out for me you know like to say that just puts up more and more blocks that keep the good things from coming and right now I should get to this because this is the most important but the energy right now is so sweet it is so positive it is so encouraging it is so telling you you can do anything that's especially in creative artistic musical anything that for so many years before I just had a conversation with a guy about that and I thought that when he said it but you know where you say there's no money in music there's no money in art there's no money in da 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 any of those kind of careers where we where old vibration people uh, life what we grew up with would have labeled that as something you just can't do um, all of those things are what you're going to know you can do right now like all artists all spiritual writers all musicians you know something about the energy is so like 
really grounding you into this thing of why not? Why can't you do this? Of course you can do it. Your thoughts are the only thing that are keeping you from doing it in re reality. Um, so that kind of thing is happening and with this new perspective thing that's happening um, is that we're, we're able to look at things now and shift them in some just little way and have total clarity come into us. There's lots of like bursts of total clarity on things. There's also lots of things, lots of things, lots of things to do, lots of things to think about, lots of lots of lots of things. Um, but what's coming are these really beautiful glimmers of like clarity of like really getting it where like you could not even get it for decades and you've been looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. It's never really it always just was this thing and now all of a sudden it's this completely different thing and you're seeing it in a new light and it's like oh my gosh that's it so it's really kind of amazing like that um, a lot of things too with it are that we're going back um, a lot of things well we're ultimately we're going back to the basics we're going back to the drawing board we're going back to the roots everything is kind of back to right now but one thing is too that you're finding that something that you've already done, like maybe you did something and then you changed it, changed it, changed it, changed it, and now you're going to be like, oh my gosh, that was the best thing, that first thing. Go, you know, and you're going to be like, I need to go back to the first one, that first thing. So whatever it's going to relate to in your life, there is something about going back to um, and then realizing that, oh my gosh, but it's kind of like the change in you, the change in your perspectives are able to see it differently. Uh, before when you looked at it, maybe you were still in this seeking, thinking it needed to be more, thinking it wasn't enough, and now it'll be like, oh my god, it's perfect. So there's that kind of thing. Uh, let's see, also, um, um, uh, I said that before, but that's not really important. Let me see. Um, Purging. Purging is one of the biggest things right now. We are all really, this is when you can have the most transformative effect from a body work session. Um, this is something, one of the things too is that we're all going back to our home, we're all wanting to work on our homes right now in the form of getting everything where it needs to be, organizing everything, gutting the dust out, making it so it's perfectly, moving the furniture. There's a really big need on the home front for us to make these changes so that they can affect and influence our success, um, authority, uh, being seen as an authority more, um, uh, um, um, uh, responsibility that is welcome responsibility, you know, wanting to take on more responsibility but in a good way. Um, and just things that are career based, so things that are like getting our stuff out there and affecting our career image. So, but for right now it's just really focusing on the home and we're all going to collectively really be thinking about what we need to fix here. You know, whether it's like moving all the furniture, um, setting up a studio, setting up a space, something you're going to be really focused about getting the energy clean on the home front. And it is important to bring in these new things, it, uh, it's going to blossom creativity, it's going to be a really beautiful thing. Uh, so anything too that is falling away, this is a really big purging time. This is the best purging time you're going to have except for maybe another time in the year um, where it's at the best time, full moon, and then we're right here with Pluto. Um, so that's just awesome. So what, and what, what's cool too about this one is it's going to be more of an effortless falling away. So it's not going to be something that's going to take like deep introspective work to figure out what needs to fall away. Things are just going to start to fall away. Um, it can be, and, and quickly too, just watch whatever you need. That I mean, if you want to lose weight, you can lose weight and it will fall away really quickly. It's like weird with that. Like things that are wanting to leave our life want to leave our life quickly and now. So whatever you don't need, if anything is falling away in your life, just trust. Do not grab for it. Do not reach back. Do not think you still need it. It needs to go. It's not something that is good for you and for your future. Let it go. Uh, another thing about this too is along with the purging, it's um, seeing things in the terms of upgrading. So really kind of seeing, you know, if you've been, if you like years ago, if you 
wanted to save money and got something and are continuing to use it daily but it's kind of a piece of junk and you have to whatever 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 uh, like those kind of things it's just like upgrade recognizing that you deserve to have this nicer thing get this nicer thing so it's purging things it's getting rid of things but it's also like replacing them with the same thing that's better <laughs> you know so and because we're so home based it can be a lot of home things so bringing things into the home um, getting things out of the home, you know, doting, donating things uh, to other people. So that's kind of the main energies that are going on. Oh, I, I forgot to say this last time, so now I get to say it. That's cool. Uh, there's one thing too with the energy where there's a really um, irrational quick reactions we are kind of having to fight ourselves from really lashing from really getting pissed off from really getting mad uh, I had it this morning where I had to leave early and like you know I'm a total dog magnet so all the dogs in the neighborhood hang out here like there's like five in my studio next right next in the other room right now <laughs> laying on the cool tiles <laughs> like they just hang here you know I take a nap and like a neighbor dog will be up in the bed with me it's so cute but so anyway and I love it 99.99% of the time but like this morning it was just like I had to go pick up some furniture so I had to make sure it would fit in my car so I put down the thing and da 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 and then like I'm trying to go and like all the dogs are in my car and I'm like get out of my car what are you doing and then I'd get like one out two out they'd go around they kept coming in like the back and then it was like this circus act where they weren't listening to me and they weren't get out and I'm like I have one dog I want to see one dog in here while well, I'm watching my friend's dog so there's two but everybody come on and it just like made me snap because they thought it was this total game and I wanted to go because I wanted to do this thing early and I'd meet someone and, and so I totally snapped but so we're having these things where just we're getting mad and we're just bursting and so there's still that room of that and basically you'll get the lesson quickly of like oh gosh I did not need to lose my cool like that so it's something where there's lashing you might get mad at someone and use harsh words but just come back and apologize say you didn't mean it da 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 bring the peace it's no big deal everyone's gonna be doing it there's this rash energy da, da, da. and then there's lots of things so it has people on da, 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 have so much to do have da, 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 da. so um, understand that that'll be happening with people so we also have we have mercury going retrograde on the 26th and we also have Jupiter going into cancer on the 26th the same day how cool is that so um, I'm going to be writing up a really beautiful article on how Jupiter, how the, both of those. I'm going to talk about how Jupiter will be for your year, and I'll talk about how the Mercury retrograde will uh, affect you. I don't know if I'll really write that one, but I'll definitely write the Jupiter one. Um, so that'll be coming up in a couple of days. So I'll put the link down below for when I do get it uh, up and up and going. But um, so this one's just going to be really awesome. We're going to be really kind of focused a year in specific areas in our chart that are about bringing in more, um, feeling more safe. Like one of the not, number one things for everybody is we really just want to be safe. We want to figure out how to feel safe. We want to, uh, there's going to be a lot more loving energy with caring about people and wanting to say it, you know, and like, dude, you're my family, yo, I love you, yo, you know, and like, there's going to be a lot more of that. There's going to be a lot more, um, just really expressing our emotions so much more. It, we're also going to be really, you know, a lot even more moody in a way, but it won't really be in a bad way. It's just that for people who are learning to really express things and not hold them in. So there can be more of a, there will be more of an allowance of you to really be fluid and open with your emotional nature. And we'll all be feeling that. And then we'll all kind of come in it and just understand more. It's even like that thing about, how I said, if you lash, you know, just apologize, bring the peace, bring it back to peace. The other person's always going to be cool with it. And it's the same with this thing. So it's expressing things, but then like coming back down from it, if it was a baby fit or something that was irrational, being able to say, dude, I'm so sorry. I, God, I was just, I had all these other things just happen and then you showed up and I did not mean to lash out at you like that. So really kind of bringing the peace like that. Um, so that's going to be going on. I'll talk about that then, and we'll talk about that, 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 that. Uh, Mercury, I'll get more into your individual readings, like where you're going to be kind of going back and rethinking some things. And we're already on that vibration right now, so it's so great. This is really going to feel good. If you don't feel good, again, it's just in your thoughts. And 
if I just want you to try to go to that space of knowing you know if you can look back at how everything has worked out because it really has and you might sit here and say no it hasn't nothing has ever worked out but if you really get real you will look back at all those times like you only had five dollars left in your pocket and something did show up you know all those times in your past like something it was like that's it I'm at the edge of the cliff I'm gonna die something did show up something did show up to pull you back and save you so if you can just go to that state in this moment now because what is the most important thing ever is that in this moment now you feel safe and you feel okay and you feel hopeful that everything will work out in your future so if you don't feel like that you're manifesting all these like you don't even want to be there you don't even want to go there because the energies are so sweet I mean the alignments I haven't even gotten into like this grand trine I think I'll do it in your individuals but with Jupiter the black moon and Sun and the black moon, yeah, um, with Saturn and Neptune, and it's like, the, and then, you know, even with this Pluto and then the Uranus coming in on it too, forming another T-square, we've had T-squares out the wazoo, wait, is it, yeah, of course it is, um, um, a little far off with that one, but still, um, uh, what was I going to say, so anyway, there's, there's so many, uh, basically, okay, I said this on the last one, that was the one I liked. Um, basically, when you are in this state of trusting this moment, you're holding this vibration that's this really sweet, hopeful, hopeful thing, and you kind of send it out. And because there's so many of us out there who are doing this, who are becoming conscious, who are awakening, it's unbelievable. The numbers have never been this big. They're growing like exponentially, like unbelievably. Like it's almost all of us now. It's crazy. And a lot of people aren't talking about it, but it's almost in everyone. Uh, most people, most people can't talk about it. That's why it's great to have things like this. Like at least they can, you know, you can hear about it, and maybe you don't have to talk about it with your family, but you can know you're not alone and stuff. But um, because of us, like the energy, it's just spreading out and spreading more, you know, and it's just infiltrating so much more. And like we really can change the world. And I know that seems so crazy, but it's all energy. We can, and. Um, right now, like there's so much precious energy that can bring something just jolt out of the blue. You know, years ago it could take five years for something to happen. Now it can take like a week. Like you just say, I want to, the most impossible thing ever can absolutely happen in lightning kind of speed right now. So it's so important that you're really wanting these things. It's so important that you're stating what you want. It's so important that you're not in a negative vibe of like, nothing works for me, nothing works for me, nothing works for me. That yeah. I mean, we all have to learn through that. We all did that one. I spent a decade in that one. I know that one. That's why I can teach you how to get out of this because I know that one. I know nothing working. I know just like, oh, you know, the whole time I've been trying to get this whole mission of mine out for 14 years, I know that one working. You know, just totally losing faith and just like, this, what's the point of any of this? It's a mistake, you know, so I know that. But I also know what life can be lived when you're just tweaking your mind a little bit and being hopeful about everything. I mean, what does it hurt, you know, just to sit in this moment and just be like, I know I can't see what's going to happen and I know that I feel like I'm screwed and I've got a lot of reasons to worry and be depressed and think I'm a loser and I can sit in that or I can just sit here and go to like because I know what's going to happen it's happened a thousand times in my life right then something great you know you say no one's ever going to love me no one's going to ever love me no one's going to love me I'm never going to have a boyfriend da 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 and then you meet someone and you're like oh my god I'm so in love and I'm so you know, so you know what happens, and it's the same thing. I can't find a job. I can't find a job. I can't. I'm never, I never find a job. And da, da, da. And then this opportunity comes, and it's such a kick-ass job, and you're like, Oh my god, <laughs> I love my life. You know, so like, if you can just get to that place of knowing you're gonna arrive at that thing, you're gonna get to that point where whatever you want is gonna come. You're gonna get to that point where this empty space that you have is gonna be filled, you know? And you know what's gonna happen, so why not just be calm in this moment and be like, you know what? 
Why not just be safe in this moment and be like, I know a wonderful surprise is on the way for me. And I have that actually on my fridge and I wrote it like in 2008, but I know that a wonderful surprise is on the way to me. And, like, and I even designed it all pretty and did it all lovely and really thought about it, but I always have that up there. And any time I remember when life was really hard, I would always look at that. I know that a wonderful surprise is on the way for me. I know that a wonderful surprise is on the way for me, which I'm so glad I noticed that as I was talking to you about that. So just being in that vibe. And it's so important right now because things can catapult you. You don't have to go and graduate in eight years. You can do it in one. You know, it's just things are changing. They're changing and it's so fast and you just have to be on the love and you have to be on the hope. And that's what I'm here for, for you. Um, but especially right now because it's so magical and beautiful. And um, uh, let me see if there's anything else I wanted to talk about. I'm finally waking up now. Now I'm like, okay. Whew. I was just like, oh, that's horrible. It's blurry. Redo it. Let's see. What other personal story can I share? <laughs> Silliness. Um, uh, another thing, too, is that freedom. Uh, that's kind of the balancing act, writing everything, but you're really going to be like, how can I get more freedom? How can I consolidate my time? How can I spend less? How can I, because it's really like we're having this thing like we know we need to sit and rest more. We need to chill out more. We need to do nothing more. Like there's just something really like that universe wants us to know that. You know, wants us to know, don't push so much. Don't push so much. Just sit back. Um, so that's another part of what you're probably feeling. And yeah, um, hmm. I think that's it. We'll talk about those later. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, it's beautiful though, and it feels great. I think it feels awesome. I'm having the time of my life. But I'm also drawing a lot of boundaries. Um, and I also, I'm so excited. I guess I can share this. It'll probably cut me off. But so I am so happy because I have this new element in with my business where what n would normally take me three days is going to take me like five or six hours. And like I'm going to com be completely caught up with orders by the 29th of this month. I will be like ready to take orders. I won't have, everything will be out. And that has not been the story for since, um, December I've always had like 30 and I can't get below 30 and it's always and it's, and it's really been dragging me down it's really been weighing me down it's really been stressing me out because I can feel that everyone's like where's my book where's my book where's my book so this miracle of a thing has come into my life completely going to change my life I'm going to have all this free time to write more things Aquarius Nation the website is really going to be infused with life again because I've been so busy I haven't been able to write and share on that and then I'm going to be working on all these courses Courses. I'm going to be working on these all these books. I'm, I'm studying leather work from this man who's, um, although I have to tell him that I'm when I have the time, I'm going to do this again. But he's like the top ten in his field. So I want to make more cool leather things for you, like cool bags that will be like more leather worked and special. And So I'm really excited about that. That's one reason, like having this free time. Like I've been such a workhorse. Work, 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 computer, 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 and like not creative. And it's really had me like freaking the fuck out. Like I, the past couple weeks I lost it. I was like, I can't keep working like this. I can't. Something has got to come and save my ass. And it did. <laughs> and now I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you can take like a hundred steps up. <laughs> you know, you think in a business, you take one, you take two. But so I'm so excited about it. Um, but um, why did I bring that up? Something about freedom and changing everything. And so I don't know. Well, I can't remember. But yeah, those kind of things can ha be happening by your looking back, by your changing a little bit, and also just demanding things. Like me, I was like, I need free time. I can't. I'm going to have to shut my business down if it's going to stay like this because I can't live like this. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> so I'm really happy. And now I will always be on time with these. I will be ahead of time. I will be hella ahead of time because I'm going to be sitting here going, what? What am I going to do? I need something to do. <laughs> Before I knew, wake up and you work till sleep. So, um, yeah. Okay, I think we're going to stop there. I'm starting to ramble a little too much. So, I think I made my point. Um, and now you just go watch the individual readings. And I will see you 
you know, normally I would say I will see you in two weeks with the new moon, but now I will say, you know what, I'll probably see you in a week. And I actually think I'm probably going to start maybe doing these more often with just little tid tidbits of information of what's going on because I'm getting kind of addicted to them. And you probably remember when I started these on March 11th that I was really shy. I did not want to do this. I 